Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter Blue, and today we're here in Atlanta, and today we're going to be talking about Terminal C and what food options you have when you come here. So, hungry travelers, let's go see what Terminal C has for you. So right when you come up from the escalators, from the train, you've got Carabas Italian Grills. So if you want to have some Italian fare, you have that there. I guess I should say American Italian fare. They do have that. There's plenty of seating there, which is nice, especially if you've got a family, because it has stuff the kids want to do, because you know kids love pasta. That's like an easy one with kids, and it's kind of out of the way, so you're not doing the hustle bustle thing, so that's something that's kind of nice. So if your sweet tooth needs something when you're in Terminal C, you got Savannah's Candy Kitchen right here. Obviously what you want to get is the praline from here, but there's a lot of other candies and treats you can get when you are there. So that is an option. They actually do have ice cream and gelato as well. So if you're looking for something a little different, a little sweet, you have this here. And then we're going over to the food court area. Let's go. So when you start the food courts, you got Umai Sushi. Um, there's sushi stuff when you go there. It's not too bad. Though I'm not a big fan of sushi before I fly, but some people do really enjoy it, so you do have that option there. If you just want to pick up a little quick things, they actually have a shop right over there. The market, which will give you like drinks, candies, snacks, the stuff you like kind of throw in your backpack with the kids or for yourself when you're going to get someplace. You're going to be coming late at night. You can sell some snacks. So you at least have something at the hotel when you get there. Now, if you're going to be coming back to the normal part of the food court, you got Krispy Kreme donuts. You can never go wrong with that. Krispy Kreme donuts for my friends that aren't from the U.S. Those are very popular donuts here in the U.S. You want to get the original glaze. They have other options, but get the original glaze. That's what you want. It's not always open, okay? So if you come in late night, don't expect to get a donut. If you're here in the morning, the donuts you can't go wrong for, okay? So let's go see some of the other foods. So if you want some Southern fare, Bantam and Biddy, that would be probably the one you want to go to. It's got some really tasty foods when you go there, so you do have that option if you want to a little bit more. Not upper scale, but upper-ish scale when you do come here from the Southern Fairs, that's pretty good. If you're looking for Asian cuisine, you have Lian Chin's there, which has, you know, your noodles and rice and meats and stuff like that that you're used to having. A lot of Asian restaurants, but it's actually not too bad. I will say this about C. For as little food options that you have, they actually do do a pretty good job. So you have some good stuff in here. And then, of course, there's Great Wraps. And if you want to get Great Wraps, you can go to, obviously, in the name, it's called Great Wraps. So if you're looking for that... A lot of options. There's not as many food options though here in the food court area when you do come here to see. Um, I want to give you that idea. That's why it might be better going to like D Gates or B Gates because there just is more food options. But there are some things. But that's why I want to show you more stuff because also I got to tell you the great wraps isn't just wraps. It also has sandwiches, has burgers, has other things. So don't let it kind of throw you off. So if you're looking for something more healthy, something salad-y, well Salad Works has salads that you actually get to pick what you want on the salads so like they're going through there. That actually has some options. Jocelyn's eaten there before. She's liked it. I've stuck more on this side myself, but uh, yes, there is salad options too. And for an adult beverage, when you are here, you know, Sweet Water 420, that's what you kind of want to get when you're here. But truly, Atlanta's an old bar here at the end of the food court. So, I mean, it really is kind of a small food court. Let's, let's walk down some of the terminal uh, to give you some more of the options when you are here in the sea because there's some good stuff, but not a ton of it. So let's go see if there's more down in the terminals. I also do want to give a shout out to Krispy Kreme Donuts. These are $1.20 a piece. They're not like $9 donuts like someplace you go. So if you've got to get something for your kids, you don't have a ton of cash when you're going through if you're flying an airline that's taking all your money, you have nothing left. Krispy Kreme, good donuts at a good price. I got to respect them for that, so I want to give them a little more shout out. But now I'm going to go explore out here. We're going to go towards gates 1, C1 through C, what, about 30, 22, somewhere around that? We'll see. Now across from C20 and C22, you have a trifecta of Atlanta's southern things. One, you have the Varsity, okay? That is the hot dog place. You go there, you're getting hot dogs, okay? If you can't get to an Atlanta institution when you're here flying through, the Varsity is an Atlanta institution. So that's one place you can go and get a hot dog. Another southern institution that people love their chicken sandwiches all over the country is Chick-fil-A. I will warn you, they are not open on Sundays. But you can get a good chicken sandwich when you are there. The spicy chicken sandwich is what I usually go for. That's a good one to get if you are here. And then if you need your little snacks, Atlanta Today has your, you know, candies and popcorn and Pringles and all that kind of stuff. Stuff in your bag. Remember, if you get a voucher from an airline, not every restaurant will take it, okay? But places like this usually do, so you can at least use up your your voucher in getting, like, snacks and stuff to make your day a little bit easier, okay? But crossing 22 and 20... 
Chick-fil-A and the Varsity, definitely Atlanta stuff, for sure. Okay, next to C-16, you have your Starbucks. I mean, can you really have an American airport without a Starbucks in it? Well, if you need your Starbucks fix, it's by C-16. It's by I mean, seriously. There's C-16. There's your Starbucks. So get your macchiato, you'll be on your way. Another shop for books and snacks is uh, Atlanta Daily World across from C-14. Now between C-14 and C-12, you have the gauntlet of restaurants. So down at the end, you've got Jersey Mike subs. If you wanna get a sub, kind of like Subway, but a little bit nicer, they have that. Next thing down, you have the original tacos. If you wanna get some tacos, you have that there. Auntie Aunt Annie's, you know, you got your, your pretzel kind of stuff. You have that. Next, you have the Familia Pizzeria, so you wanna get a slice of pizza. Those are big slices, so if you get a slice, you should be okay. I do I do recommend that. I actually eat there quite often. If you can't tell from my tummy, I've enjoyed a few other slices over the years. Um, then you've got Charlie's Philly Steaks. You want to, you know, steak and cheese sandwich kind of stuff, the Philly Steak Sandwich. They have that there, but that's their wraps and other sandwiches. And all these places have more than just the tacos, sam like sandwich, pizza stuff. They all have extra things on there, but this is kind of like the gauntlet, one, two, three, four, or five. That's why I think the main food court doesn't have a lot of stuff because you have it between C12 and C14. But you got a bunch of places you can go eat. And if you want something nicer, you have a Longhorn Steakhouse right here, so you can actually get legit steaks at the airport. So if you're gonna be here for a long delay or need like a real meal, that's definitely a place to go. So down by C6 and C7, you've got a Coke vending area. So they have drinks, snacks, they even have ice cream in there. So you can have that. And then there's a La Madeleine Express, which has sandwich and some salads. You actually do your own checkout when you go there. So you have that. And then down here at the end, across from C5, you have the pecan bar or pecan bar, a pecan bar, a pecan bar, well not pecan, no one says pecan, 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 however you would say it, there's a bar here for you, they have snacks there as well, you can grab some food, but that's here at this end, okay, there's actually an Atlanta news place, but it's closed right now, Atlanta today, but here we're at this end, so now we got to go all the way, all the way back up there, through the food court thing to show you the other side, okay, so let's go see like 30 through the rest, okay? All right, we've gone through the food court and we're to the other side. And across from C33 is Atlanta Bread, which has sandwiches, soups, breads, bagels, all kinds of stuff. Good morning spot. Good actually any day a spot, but as someone from some St. Louis area originally, I gotta say that should be St. Louis Bread Company and I'm not letting it go. <laughs> now next to C30, you got Ling's Grill, so you get, yes, hot dogs and stuff, but also you can get adult beverages there too. And the people that work there are actually pretty nice. Next up, you have across from C34, you have the ubiquitous Starbucks. Yes, C definitely has more Starbucks on average than other um, terminals, but you do have this. I will warn you, in the morning, the line for this goes forever. So I've actually never gotten anything there in the morning. I've only gone there in the afternoon, like now, you know, it's about noon, 1230. You can get there no problem, but in the mornings, that line is insane. And if you don't want to wait in the line for the Starbucks, right across from there's a Coke vending machine series, so you can get your drinks and snacks there. So you do have that, and there's a little spa next to it as well. Also, Delta Sky Club. So there's a bunch of stuff by Starbucks in case you don't wait in that line. It might be faster to wait in the uh, line for the lounge than it is to actually wait in the line for a Starbucks in the morning. Now, if you find yourself by C40 and you're so hungry, it feels like somebody let off some C4 in your tummy because you need more food, Five Guys Burgers and Fries is right here. And yes, they still give you an insane amount of French fries when you do get the stuff. That's right here by C40. If you just want some snacks to go with you in a book, Buckhead Books actually has snacks as well. So you have that option right across from C40. Very easy to do. And La Madeleine Express is back across from C41. That is the same sandwiches, salads, drinks, and little snacks. You have that at self checkout. So you have that going on. Across from C43, if you got Sparrow, which is if anybody's actually from the U.S., you remember Sparrow in the food courts of your malls back in the 80s and 90s? Yeah, they're here. They got the New York City-style big slice of pizza. You can grab that when you're here. They got some other food as well, but that's one the kids kind of like because they just heat it up, walk around, have a big slice of pizza, and they're good to go. Okay, if you're in a hurry and need some stuff quick, there's some quickie things really close by. Midtown Magazines actually has your snacks, your, you know, your candies, your crackers, your snacks, your protein bars. They have that. Then you have the Fresh Healthy Cafe, which has sandwiches and rice, but it's all grab and go, so it's literally like in and out, which is really nice. If you're looking for something that's not heavy, 
that's not too bad for a quick like grab and go not feeling like garbage afterwards so yeah in georgia's juke joint your sandwiches wraps salads you have those things appetizers you get some wings when you're there so that's not too bad and if you don't have time again they do a good job here and see a lot of quick stuff there's a coca-cola vending machine right across from it so you do have that option and then if you're looking for your burritos your quesadillas something a little bit different baja fresh express is actually right here across from c47 and that kind of ends our tour of Terminal C for what food options you do have. Tell me, what is the food that looked best for you or the place you like to eat when you're in Terminal C? Let us know so when you come to Atlanta next time, we know where we should eat to make sure we go where you like to go. So anyway, have a great time and I'll tell you bye from here in Atlanta.